A few days ago, I hinted that I would be introducing a new game to the channel that is similar to Ebony. I've played around with War and Order over the last week or so, trying to get a sense of the playstyle and how skills and knowledge of Ebony might transfer over. For those wondering, no, I'm not quitting Ebony. This is not a channel switch of some kind. It's an addition to the current Ebony content. As I said in a previous video, many players are disgruntled with Ebony's handling of the game this last year. Droves of people have been quitting or stepping back from the game, and they are looking for something similar and new to occupy their time. Whether you are dropping Ebony completely or just looking for another game to enjoy, consider watching these videos and joining a great group of people that will be creating new accounts when the next fresh server opens up. From what I hear, the newest server is set to open up one or two days from now. If you feel like giving it a try, join us when that new server opens up. In this video, I'll give my initial impressions of the game coming from the perspective of a longtime Ebony the King's Return player. I've played War and Order for only a few days, so don't expect mastery or a complete understanding of the game. For example, while I have a good sense of the pacing of the game for the first castle levels, and I can comment fairly confidently on that, I have zero experience with PvP in this game. I couldn't tell you whatsoever what it is like to be attacked or to attack another player. Troop effectiveness? No idea. Rallies? No idea. Is it easy to recover after being attacked? No idea. It's going to be a learning experience, which is what is going to make it fun to play. I'll start off by grounding this video series in reality. This is not a free to win game. That just doesn't exist in the mobile world. If you're a free to play player or a low spender, don't expect to top the charts. However, that certainly doesn't mean you can't have fun or be successful. Ebony is the worst of the worst when it comes to being pay to win and for the most part, I'm still able to enjoy the game. From what I see and understand, this game is much less pay to win than Ebony, but it is a similar style and has a similar monetization structure. With that dose of reality, let's dig into this game and check out what it offers players. When I first began playing this test account, I was pleasantly surprised by the detail that went into the graphical development of this game. Honestly, the visuals are stunning for a mobile builder strategy, and they are leaps and bounds above what we see in Ebony. I'm still getting used to the interior of the castle with the layout of buildings, but that's something that will come with time. The introduction of the game takes you through the initial buildings required to advance your kingdom, and much of it is similar to Ebony. Buildings might have different names and operate slightly differently, but playing this game feels a lot like playing Ebony. There are several key differences that I noted really early, many of which I was very much in favor of. One such example is that it doesn't seem like troops cons consume food. Because of this, you won't have the same food issues in War and Order. I've always said the way that food is done in Ebony is absolutely horrible, so I'm happy to see this. Troops and the battle mechanics in War and Order seem to be a bit more intuitive. I haven't had the chance to experiment with PvP in the game, but it doesn't seem like there are any shady, hidden battle mechanics like in TKR. Generally, higher tier troops are simply better, although you really need to inspect the unit stats as these do vary. Certain troop types have bonuses against other troop types, so a mage army would crush a cavalry army in the same way as archers in Ebony crush mounted, but this is due to the bonuses to attack rather than the weirdness of Ebony. There are also many nice quality of life features to make the mundane parts of play less time consuming. For example, one thing I despise in Ebony is searching for bosses and tiles. In War and Order, I just use a simple search feature built into the game to find something in range. The game is built to be less of a grind than Ebony, so you can spend more time doing activities that are enjoyable or social rather than spend your time scanning the map or cultivating a general for hours on end. I do find the map a little cramped, so the search feature does help in navigating to find what I need quickly. 
Another thing I checked on was the server and continent size. I wasn't easily able to find information of how many players populate a server, but I did manage to figure out how to navigate the number of servers and also find out how many there are per continent. Again, I was pleasantly surprised to see that War and Order's version of continents are much more fairly distributed. Evany has hundreds and hundreds of servers all populating four mega continents, which makes qualifying for high level competitions an impossibility if you aren't a top spender. In War and Order, there are many more divisions, which I believe would make being successful quite a bit easier. Finally, the pacing of Kingdom Growth and the guidance from the quest seems a lot more effective in War and Order than in Ebony. I wasn't rushing through my growth by any means, but I felt like I was constantly making progress as I grew. Starting in Ebony, especially these days with the millions of random features being introduced, it can be very overwhelming. War and Order seems to do a better job of introducing their own features and mechanics as you go. It just seems a bit more intuitive. It was funny to get pulled into the mini games in War and Order. I was expecting some garbage mini game like the frustrating and poorly designed puzzles in Ebony, but I was instead greeted by an actually enjoyable tower defense style game. Now, it's always weird to have these kinds of mini games placed inside a builder game, but at least this one is fun and thematically appropriate. Your kingdom is being attacked by swarms of enemies and needing to quickly build the fences to protect your castle makes sense. It's a step away from the normal gameplay, but it makes sense. Evany's pull the pin to move a buggy weirdo along a path while avoiding minotaurs and traps is just dumb. To make things even sweeter, if you're someone who used Huawei App Gallery to purchase an Ebony, you'll be happy to hear that I spoke with the good people at the UK office for App Gallery to organize a link that you can use to install the game for coupons and campaigns. If Ebony wants to mess with us global players by hiking prices, we might as well take our money elsewhere. If you know how to set it up, you can follow my old Ebony instructions in the previous campaign videos, except use this new referral link instead. If you are unsure of how to set up App Gallery, I'll do a refresher video sometime this week that is more specific to War and Order, so you can wait for that. That should help some of you out there that like to use App Gallery for your spending. I'm going to keep fiddling around with the game to further increase my understanding of how it plays. I'll let you know as soon as I discover exactly when that new server opens up. As I said earlier, I was told it should be open in a day or two. Anyone that's interested in this venture is welcome to join us as we populate the new server. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the channel. If you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the like button and checking out other videos on the Miser's Guide to Ebony. I'll see you in the next video.